Hi, this is PR Sundar. Welcome to this special episode. I'm going to make uh, a groundbreaking uh, news. So far, there are so many people who have been trading in cryptocurrencies and futures and options in cryptos. However, there has not been even a single exchange that has been officially registered in India. There is a report that says more than 10 crore people have been trading in cryptos, but it is a gray area and nobody knows and no exchange has been uh, registered in India and regulated in India. But despite that, more than 10 crore people from India, they are doing. There are a lot of, you know, confusions here and there, you know. So the Ministry of Finance announced, you know, 1% TCS uh, for trading in crypto. Buying a crypto you is liable for 28% GST. Whatever the profit comes, it is considered as a speculative income. So you have to pay flat 30% tax, you know, you cannot offset the expenses, you cannot offset the losses and those kind of things. But now coming to India, Delta.exchange. Delta.exchange is already a crypto trading platform, you know, but it was not registered in India. Now Delta.exchange India, India Delta.exchange is coming. They have registered with India. And I'm going to show you, uh, you can see this is their main page, india.delta.exchange. And you can see that Delta Exchange India is operated by XLM Technologies Private Limited, FIU, Financial Intelligence Unit, Government of India, registered entity with registered ID. You know, cryptos do not come under SEBI purview. They have registered with Financial Intelligence Unit, which is a Government of India organization. So their registration ID is given. Now, Delta.exchange is already there, but now what Delta.exchange India makes the difference? Number one, you can transfer the money freely by Indian rupee. You can keep the money as Indian rupee itself. You can trade and in Indian rupee itself. Whereas, Earlier Delta Dot Exchange, you know, you have to transfer the money, you have to buy USDT, then using the USDT only you have to uh, trade and those things are not required. So this is just like, you know, with an Indian broker. If you are having an account with the Indian broker for trading in uh, NSE or BSE, what you do, you just transfer the money, you just trade. And then profit or loss, you are getting it Indian rupee. So the same thing only here, you can just transfer the Indian rupee you can trade, your profit or loss will be coming back to you in Indian rupee. So that is the one advantage. India Delta Dot Exchange is the only exchange, you know, which is registered with Indian regulatory authorities and which is uh, operating in futures and options space. So first, why futures and options? Now, let me give you. So there are two markets in India. Let us say if you are trading in NSE, you have got two markets. You can trade in cash market also. You can trade in futures and options market also. Same thing. Suppose if you go to crypto space, you have a cash market, you have futures and options market. But cash market trading is almost next to impossible for you. That's because if you want to trade in cash market, that means you want to buy and sell cryptos. As I told you earlier, number one, when you transfer the money, every time you have to pay 1% TCS. And number two, you know, 28% GST will apply if you buy or sell a cryptocurrency from India. And number three, whatever the profit you are getting, that is considered as a speculative profit. You will have to pay 30% uh, tax, you know, without any uh, expenses. And number four, uh, let us say you are doing uh, three businesses. In one business, you have a loss. The remaining two businesses profit. Okay, you can combine all the three. Right. So accordingly, for the net profit, you can pay tax. And whereas in cryptos, that is not allowed. Assume that you have got $100 profit in Bitcoin and $100 loss in Ethereum. So your net profit is zero. 
so you cannot say my net profit is zero i will not pay the tax so cryptos has to be dealt separately bitcoin is dealt separately ethereum is dealt separately bitcoin you have got 100 dollar profit you have to pay 30 dollar tax ethereum no that is not counted so these are all the drawbacks now coming to futures and options you know as per the definition in india the futures and options is considered as a business it is not considered as a uh, asset class it's not an asset class it's not like equity so therefore futures and options you know whatever gain you are getting it will be coming under business income so when it comes under the business income the normal rules will apply number one no tcs if you transfer the money to india.delta.exchange and number two whatever the profit or loss you are getting you know you can like you may trade in crypto you may trade in bitcoin you may trade in ethereum you may trade in other currencies put together only for the net profit you will be paying tax you will not be paying tax individually and number three this is a business income so therefore business expenses can be offset against the business income and there is no 28 percent gst also because you know this is only a contract this is not an asset so these are all the advantages i'm just giving one simple example the same thing i'm trading in u.s markets i'll give you one example fias foreign portfolio investors who are coming and trading in india if they are trading in futures and options they are not liable to pay tax they are able to pay tax to their own country but most of the FIAs will come through either Dubai or Mauritius there also there is no tax so effectively they pay zero tax but however they buy it in the cash market they are liable to pay capital gain tax so for foreigners capital gain tax is there in India but no tax on futures and option so if an FPI is a very intelligent guy so instead of buying it in the cash market and he can buy it in futures market so he will avoid the tax and assume that a person is not allowed to do in futures a person is allowed to do only in options then also what he can do there is something called synthetic future so they can go long in synthetic future to avoid the tax the same way right even if you want to buy a cryptocurrency how to buy the cryptocurrency without paying 1% TCS, without paying 30%, 28% GST, 30% tax? What you can do? You can go uh, long in future in cryptos or you can do synthetic long also. So in this way, you can bypass all those uh, taxes. And coming to few important things, you can see this Delta dot exchange. I'm just showing you my son is trading in delta dot exchange global one so this is his account so you can see that he is having about 230k and then he is having so many positions he is having okay so let us forget it now we come back to in delta exchange india the website is india dot delta dot exchange and here let us see how much money he has if you click add funds okay so this is a self-explanatory you just go and add your bank details and then you start transferring so you can transfer up to 5 lakh rupees via imps and there will be uh, zero fees right so once you transfer the money so the money will be there in indian rupee uh, you can see here so right now the indian rupee is uh, 15,450 rupees that's the total money transferred to this account but if you move away it will show it as 181 dollars so money that you are transferring you will be transferring by indian rupee but for trading purpose that will be converted into us dollar but it is not actually converted into us dollar it's just its notional value in us dollar is shown now i'm going to show you how to add the funds so you just click add funds here and then transfer through imps now I'm asking my son to transfer some small money. So now he's in the process of transferring. So let us see uh, where it is showing. Right now it is showing 15.25K. Uh, 
uh, that is equivalent value is about $180 and now is going to add the funds uh, I think he is adding the funds uh, using his mobile so let us see how long it takes to reflect so he will give me a signal once he transfer then we can see I think that is uh, almost instantly will be credited so up to 5 lakh rupees you can transfer via IMPS and instantly credited with zero fees my son has just now transferred you can see just now it was showing uh, 15,000 now it has changed to 35,000 I think he has transferred 20,000 so you can see while I'm talking to you he transferred so that is just an uh, instant transfer now there is an exchange an Indian registered exchange an Indian rupee traded exchange you know you can trade without worrying about converting your money into dollars and this and that and everything will be in terms of rupee but only uh, drawback is that a little bit of liquidity problem but even in the global markets also liquidity problem is there to some extent when more and more people come and uh, trade in this more liquidity will be uh, coming and if you are interested in opening an account uh, in Delta Exchange through our referral so you can check the uh, description the link is given so through that link you can open an account with india.delta.exchange so then you go to options now if you go to options okay you can see the option chain and today is 29th uh, March so I'll check 31st March Bitcoin and I'm looking at 74,800 call option buyer is at $59 seller is $71 but the liquidity seems to be less why the liquidity seems to be less because india.delta.exchange you know has been launched very very recently still people are not aware so this video hopefully create awareness about the product when more and more people coming into this trading platform hopefully the you know the bid ask price uh, narrow down the, what they call it as impact cost okay just for uh, some sample one let me take a trade uh, let me sell a call option 74,800 call option so if I want to sell okay you can see here so uh, sell okay uh, uh, what is the price we will put buyer is at say 62 seller is 74 maybe I put 70 dollars how many quantity maybe 100 quantity so remember 1000 quantity is equivalent to one bitcoin so when I put 100 that means it's one tenth of the bitcoin now what is the margin required it's just only 36 dollars available margin is 101.52 dollar but now margin required is only 36 dollar so I click sell and now it says place order so the order has been placed the order has been placed but it is pending order you can see the open order so it is 70 dollar now see the buyer you know 62 has come to uh, 65 you know like more and more people come so the buyer will increase the price seller will decrease the price so and hopefully uh, liquidity will pick up okay click to edit maybe I put 69 dollar or maybe 68 dollars it's getting late so 69 uh, now it is 68 I think it is uh, showing and then it's very simple everything will be traded in rupees of course it will be traded in US dollar whatever money you transfer it will be notional value will be shown in US dollar trade but whatever the profit or loss comes to you it will be coming in uh, Indian rupees only so that's a big advantage second advantage is that so there is no unfair tax uh, complications so no TCS no GST uh, you know no speculative gain so this is only a business income so you will be taxed accordingly so now I think the order that we have placed got executed so you can see Bitcoin 74800 call option and uh, you know triggered at 68 dollars 
So initially you see it was showing 62 was the buyer, 78 was the seller. I put it 70, then 69, 68, then got triggered. Okay. And then the margin uh, applied is only about 100 something dollar, right? So $100 is about like say something about uh, 8,000, 10,000 rupees. So for 8,000, 10,000 rupees also, you can trade one contract. And of course, you trade the spreads, the margin benefit will also be coming. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.